In this video I will show you how to edit portrait photo using Lightroom Mobile. Here are example photo, before and after, using this portrait filter. This photo is shots on Sony A5100 with 18 to 105 mm Sony APS-C lens. So let's start the editing. First go to light icon. Exposure to plus 27. Contrast to negative 13. Highlights to negative 27. Shadows to negative 10. Whites to negative 25. And blacks to plus 12. Now go to tone curve. So the next thing I wanna do is add three dots on the tone curve to adjust a little bit of contrast on the blacks and the whites of the image. and I slowly move around to see how affecting on the image. Next, red on the tone curve. I add three dots and do the standard S curve, to give contrast to the image. And I also bring up the black of the red to give a faded red look. And I also bring up a little bit the highlights of the red, to make skin tone nice on the subject. And, blue on the tone curve. I add another three dots and pull up a little bit the highlights of the blue to balance the skin tone. and pulling up the blacks of the blue so all the blacks kind of turn blue. Go to color icon. Now I bring up the temperature, vibrance and saturation to be fairly warm. And I am also bring up the tint to give a pinks a little bit on the image. Go to color mix. Go to red. Hue to negative 2. Saturation to plus 3. Luminance to negative 11. Go to orange. Hue to negative 3. Saturation to plus 4. Luminance to negative 8. Go to yellow. Hue to negative 25. Saturation to plus 18. Luminance to negative 14. Go to green. Hue to plus 9. Saturation to plus 70. Luminance to negative 50. Go to Aqua. Hue to plus 45. Saturation to plus 65. Luminance to plus 30. Go to effects icon. Texture to plus 16. Clarity to negative 12. Dehaze to negative 30. Vignette to negative 10.
Go to details. Sharpening to plus 58. Noise reduction plus 15. Color noise reduction plus 20. Now go to selective tool. I use an adjustment brush and paint all over the skin. and then use the eraser tool and remove the excess. And unpaint on her eyebrows, eyes and lips to stay the same when to adjust. On the selective tool I adjust the temperature and the tint a little bit to get a nice skin tone. Tap to effects, and adjust the texture and clarity to make a smooth skin. Tap the details and pulling up the noise and sharpness to bring back the details on skin. Now add radial filter on her eye and bringing up the noise and the sharpness to give more details. Then duplicate the radial filter and bring to the other one. I noticed her eyebrow was uneven. So I used a brush tool to fill in her eyebrow. And bring down the exposure a little bit. And the shadows and the blacks as well. Here's the before and after photo using Lightroom Mobile. And now saved the image at the highest quality available. Here's the final result. Thanks for watching.